watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Rough Rider knife. This is an older one here and here's the box for it. Comes in the old yellow style box with the R-I-D-E-R -E rider spelling. You got a horse on here. All four sides pretty much the same. On this in here we have the barcode along with the, bar, uh, the model number RR044. And then on this side, model number RR044. So yeah, we're looking at an older one here. This one was uh, acquired on eBay. So this is not, uh, not available at retail. You're going to have to search for this one if you'd want to try to locate it. Now this is the Mother of Pearl Copperhead we're looking at. And you've got Mother of Pearl Handles with this abalone inlay serves as sort of a shield here you can see the depth in the mother of pearl some iridescent looking shine in here in different areas we've got the nickel silver bolsters on either end with just the single stripe and this predates the RT bolsters so no concern for that we've got good smooth transitions to the handles and you'll notice there's no pins on this so this is held on by adhesive on the other side we have much the same without the shield or no abalone again good transitions to the bolsters and you can see again we've got some nice detail inside the pearlescent material there now on the bottom we've got brass liners which I always like to see and it doesn't appear that there's really any major gapping going on here all looks pretty well constructed handles meet up to the bolsters really well in the corners no little gaps there areas where the glue is exposed got good solid fit between the liners and the spring it's all pressed together really well and again you get really nice smooth material for the mother of pearl and that abalone is really attractive as well gives you a nice sheen so yeah really well built on the outside and of course with any copperhead you've got the nice smooth profile at the top here no Tangs exposed. Got the nail neck here, it's reachable, and then the other up here at the front. So, two nice nail nicks there, both reachable from the front side. And the blades here, <clears throat> both clip point blades. Got a larger clip point with a little more body on the back, and then in the front, you have the sort of the Skinner style clip point blade. Both of these made from 440A stainless. So let's take a closer look at the blades. On this one, you can see that there's the nail neck kind of towards the front of the blade. And you get this blade etch here that says Horseshoe Tang or Horseshoe uh, logo there. And then Always Ready etched onto the blade nice thin little clip point little Skinner type blade then your tang stamp You've got the Rough Rider stamp on it in uh, script form and on the reverse you've just got the 440 razor sharp steel stamped into it and then a little china etch there at the back of the blade towards the tang there's a look at the blade edge there from this side and then the front all right no half stops on these kind of uh, just a lazy half stop pretty decent snap on the close there the open is Pretty snappy as well. I'd give the pole maybe about a six. 
the snap on the open on this side maybe not quite as pronounced as I'd like it to be but it it does snap in there and then the close there on the second blade got a little better pull a little better snap and you can see this is a broader blade look at the blade edge on that just your traditional style nail neck there no swedging or anything like that on these older knives uh, there's no tank stamp on this one not on either side so we've just got the one tank stamp on the the front blade but this will measure right at two and three quarter inches the cutting edge of two and a half the main front blade here is much the same it's just slightly shorter I'd say about two and three quarter inch with about a two and a half inch cutting edge again that pull in the back blade just a little bit higher I'd say about a seven on that one but good quality construction good blade pull good action nice sharp blades really attractive design on the copper head you can see that there's blades are separated on the top by that metal liner or spacer whichever you'd like to call it blades are centered pretty well and yeah you get a nice overall package here but we've looked at a lot of different copper heads they uh, have a closed length here of I'd say about three and five eighths not quite three and three quarter easy to slip in the pocket not particularly wide maybe not as narrow as a canoe or something like that but for two blades not too bad and uh, yeah it's just a nice addition to the copperhead collection now you guys may have remembered uh, we did a review not too long ago on a pretty rare find with the single bladed copperhead it was a little longer in length and of course just that one blade but this is uh, just as nice in terms of the build quality and the, the handle material so they did a really nice job with these mother of pearl series which uh, do sometimes get charged a premium on the secondary market now uh, I paid about $20 shipped with this one I thought that was a fair price uh, they were probably at around $12 when they were new or somewhere in that neighborhood you know for a, a knife of this build and this quality nice sharp blades really well constructed I think $20 is a heck of a deal but that's gonna do it for my review guys I hope you hit the like button if you enjoyed this review helps us uh, get our videos out there and get some more views and helps the channel grow and if uh, you're not already I please hope to hope that you will subscribe and if you are subscribed, make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you don't miss any videos when they come out. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, and take care.